Hi all, we are going to write a custom O2 brand type today. And the first step, let's ask ChatGPT how to do this. Well, uh, its output uh, is kind of like a blueprint that uh, the instructions are clear, but not in detail. So maybe after like three, four, uh, three, four more prompts, uh, we can get things done. Um, let's see. Well, uh, it says uh, create a new Java class that extends the abstract authorization hand grant handler. That's correct. And then validate well, grant override. That's incorrect. And this step, uh, we really don't have to do because uh, we can do it from the deployment terminal as of now. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I have an up and running uh, identity server. This is version uh, 6.1. and then uh, I have this uh, blog post by uh, Dauer. So he's explaining how to get this process done. So you can refer this as well. Okay, so I will be referring to the official documentation and we'll do the custom grant with sample mobile grant. So the steps are there, but I will guide you through how to do this and how to get this done. Okay, so as ChatGPT said, we have to have the grant and handler validator inside the uh, authorization grant handler. So what ChatGPT recommended is to use the abstract authorization grant handler. Uh, if you can, can see here. So we will do that. So the thing is, uh, we have to uh, first build our custom grant type uh, because uh, even though it's available in the GitHub sample size, sample IS repo in here, you can see uh, everything is coded already for the mobile one. You can uh, use this to check out this feature and uh, you can write your own, obviously. So yeah, let's try to build this one. So this is already there. So we are not going to change anything. The validate grant is there. So the auth status is default false, and we are going to validate a mobile number, get the mobile number, validate the mobile number, and then we will return a auth status. It should be true to uh, proceed. And then uh, in the scope and delegation part, uh, we are going to return default true. And then uh, in the mobile number validation, we will check if it's starting with 033. So, this is just a sample code. So you can do whatever you want inside this uh, validation. And we'll uh, add this uh, mobile grant param as, the, as a required parameter. So that's the grant validator you are going to use. So the mobile number should be there and it should start with 033. So that's the pattern we are going to follow. And uh, we need to build this one. So you can use this uh, IntelliJ provided uh, Maven tools to build this one, clean and install. Otherwise, you can uh, always use the command prompt as well. That's up to you. Okay, the build is success. And we have this uh, job, custom grant, 455 job. So we, we are going to put this inside our uh, IS pack. Let's open this with Finder. And then, so I will be doing some changes to deployment uh, Tomal. So let's follow the steps, follow the steps. Okay. Here, uh, we should add that the Java file in the repository component lib directory. So let's navigate to that repository components and lib. So we have to include this here. It's cool. And then I'm going to clear this. And we start the service. So before doing that, there is another configuration that I need to add to the deployment domain. So let me copy this. And I have opened the deployment domain file here. And I'm going to paste it here. Cool. So this is the name of the grant type identifier. 
so so that uh, custom code grant type uh, and the grant handler and the validator so we have to replace these values so let's see so in the mobile grant type we will use these values because uh, these are the things that we are going to use with the sample package so if you write a custom one then you have to replace these values with whatever matches your uh, custom grant type so in this case we have mobile and the mobile grant and grant validator and uh, we are loving the id token uh, for the custom grant type okay let's save this and we start the identity server let's wait for that to restart okay and then uh, what we have to do is uh, configure our custom grant type to use with the service provider so you can just create a some service provider and use this so let's go let's refresh and so it's not up yet let's wait until yeah so cool so login with the default admin credentials straightforward and then go to the service providers so these are the default ones so i'm going to add new one uh the service provider name let's say test mobile whatever you prefer okay and in here yeah i'm going to go to sorry inbound auth open id configure okay so in here you can see the mobile grant type that we added this is usually not there with the configuration that we added it's there so we can use this grant type with this one so i'm going to follow the doc again so what we have to do go to admin uh, console and login admin admin done so it's provided as add done uh description we don't feel don't need register done inbound out done and the mobile is in the grant list okay so let's uh enter call that you are in so let's see something local host playground one or whatever let's add this and add. cool and then uh, we need to get the client key and the client secret so these are the client keys and secrets you can copy them and then let's try to obtain an access token let's see if this works so this is the request format so i'm going to copy this one it's okay okay copy this one let's uh, open up the postman uh, i know that request okay so we are going to import this as a raw text and paste the curl link import okay that's all okay sorry uh, we have to uh, replace these values so our custom grant type is mobile and client key and client secret we have to replace let's take those values client key and client secret done and then run type is mobile and the mobile number let's say something starts at 033 one two three four five done and then we have the ice host i'm running this on local host 9443 the default port so if you're running on something else uh, change the port number and the host so the host will be local host obviously if you have a port offset uh, keep that in mind okay let's say okay import is success so the authorization is there the body is there mobile grant type uh, let's try and send this um if it works cool so again so the token type is mobile and we have the access token here and expert time is uh, 10,000 defined 
So in here, you can see the mobile grant handler is hit. This lobby is uh, added just to verify that this is working. So you can see here, the logged info, the mobile grant handler is hit. Okay, so the team is working. Let's uh, dive deep into what's happened here. So I'm going to like quickly go through uh, what these grant types are and how we are going to use this. So technically there are several methods that we can use to implement the token-based authorization techniques. So these are grant types. So if you if you move to this and try to edit this one, you can see allowed grant types. There are multiple grant types. So we use code, implicit password grant, client credential. Likewise, uh, these are the default ones we have. And in a customized case, we can use our own grant type. Let's say we have to do some delegation, like certification, or let's say some authorization. So if you um, go to our sample script, or in there you can find, in auto you can find uh, there is another custom grant sample called password. So in here, you can see a role-based password grant. So these type of things we can implement with this. So you can uh, add uh, roles and stuff. So that kind of use cases can be covered with this custom auth grant. So this is a kind of powerful tool. So apart from the uh, standard grant types, Okay, so in here you can find the access delegation part. So I recommend you to read this one because uh, this article is really cool and uh, contain all the information you need to get going with these uh, grant types. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, you can ask in the chat uh, and then you can reach us uh, via our social media channels, Twitter, Discord, or you can always uh, post a question in Stack Overflow, we'll answer that. Um, that's it then. So yeah, have a nice day.